people can see through the BS. So if you're passionate about what you're doing, they can see the passion in you. They can hear it in you. They can feel it. I eat, sleep, and breathe entrepreneurship. Tell me a little bit more about you, you know, what you're what you've been up to and what you're doing right now. Well, my name is Stephanie A. Wynn. I'm the author of Ready Set Go, a simple guide to establishing a successful small business. I specialize in assisting emerging authors, emerging um, startup business owners, or even business owners that are already started. I help them by helping them build their brand, getting in the marketplace, and creating a plan, a plan that works uh, with build, brand building, marketing, and business development. The topic that you had uh proposed or put out was, you know, building your platform as a person who's trying to put some of these thoughts onto paper. I have a better way to do it now. Why is having a platform such an important thing? And what is it? What are you actually specifically helping them to, to move forward and do? So a platform can be many things. It depends on your genre or what business that you're in. If you're an author, it depends on your genre, pretty much a brand. You are the brand. So when people see you, they see, oh, that's John. Oh, that's the Mark. I know him, you know, or that's Stephanie. That's that business lady, you know, so you are the brand. But what happens is we have ideas, we have great ideas, and we'll start a business, we'll put the cart before the horse, and we don't have no platform, and we expect people to open up, give us opportunities to come maybe speak, you know, get our book, or allow us to coach them, and there's no platform. And so we're living in a time where everyone is doing their due diligence. When you pitch to the media, or you pitch to organizations to come speak, and they do their due diligence, and there's nothing there, or you don't get a response from the media, that's pretty much why, because you don't have a platform, or you have created a brand. You haven't developed enough to get those opportunities. And a lot of people have to serve others too. Like you have to serve others first in order to build. I I do believe in that. Serving others first, you will see more fruits of your labor if you give back. And I see this a lot also. Um, I've met some folks in my area of, you know, working with folks to build, to help them get a plan for marketing and sales that they have some awesome products, some right. awesome services. If some people knew about what they did, it would be just mind blowing. <laughs> yes. But they won't take time to actually make a plan right. to establish those steps because as you know, there's mm-hmm. steps, there's steps mm-hmm. in the sequence yes. before people are going to buy from you. Right. Yes, definitely. And that that's the key too. And I talk about that in my book is that failure, you have to plan no matter what it is. Even if you're an author, writer, you have to plan. Like you can't just think, oh, I published my book and then then it's, it's going to sell itself. No, you have to have a plan. Like, so for me, when I published my book, I created a business plan for my book. The reason why I did that, well, I'm a serial entrepreneur. So I've had businesses in the past and you have to mark, do your market research. I truly believe that as a business beforehand, you still, you need to do a SWOT analysis because you need to know what your strengths, weaknesses and opportunities and threats are. I'm not saying you're not going to be successful, but you need to know where you are in the marketplace. Chick-fil-A and Starbucks, they're successful because they're in the marketplace. They plan, they have a strategic plan. And right. so planning is is definitely key. And what you're saying is true, but folks don't get that. It's not that you're not going to be successful, Mm -hmm. but it's just a matter of having a strategy to move towards that success. That's all it is. And what I see is folks put that as the, almost like the last resort. They'll do everything else, spend all their money on everything Mm -hmm. except for actually marketing and branding themselves. They might have a super passion for Mm -hmm. their product. Product might be awesome, but nobody actually knows about it. And walking them through that process is very important. Now, when you're working with these folks on their books, do you actually walk them through the process of creating their book or actually more of just marketing their book and setting up other things necessary to be successful marketing and uh, selling their book? When I speak with um, authors who've already published their book, so it's twofold. People who've already published their book or people who have the manuscript in hand and they just, they need to go through the publishing process. So the people that have published their book and they're stuck, they don't know what to do. We do a business development because being an author, it is a business. You gotta look at it as a business because you're gonna have to pay taxes on royalties. That alone, you need to set this up as a business and you need to market it as such. And so we, we sit down and have a strategic plan of, okay, so what are your goals for your book? How do you want to position your book? Where do you see yourself? Did you write this book just to put your name on something? Or did you write this book to make a difference in the lives of others, to provide coaching, be a consultant or be a professional speaker? How are you going to leverage your book? And so a lot of people, they don't, they don't, they, some know the answer, some don't. Some just want a book that they can 
sell with their name on it. And that's fine. Then again, how are you going to get into the marketplace? What are you doing strategically to get in front of people? Like now, what is it? 11 to 12% more people are online now due to the COVID-19. Now you really need to be, you have to pivot your business on. You got to be online. Right. So you to get in front of the people that you need to get in front of. And, and I think a lot of times it's not so much that once again, we're telling folks whether they're going to be successful or not. Sometimes it's about whether if you're really serious or not. Because yes. like when people come to me with their businesses and they have no clue who their ideal client is, they don't know mm-hmm. who their competition is, they don't know the messages to speak to their client. I mean, mm-hmm. I almost want to say like, is this something you really want to do? Or are you, you know, just hoping that things, that's what I call yes. that, that hope marketing. Yes. Where you're just hoping that somebody's going to do something. Yes. During the author, for my authors, you, before your book is published, you should know who your target audience is before you even finish the publishing process. I got a niche down who my audience is because everybody is not your audience. Everybody doesn't want your book. Everybody's not going to benefit from your book. So yeah, definitely have to um, focus on your target audience. And a lot of people, they just don't know because they haven't asked the questions or they figure they can run ads on Facebook and Instagram and hope that somebody sees it. For you, what are some of the directions or other utilizations that you've seen and work with some of your clients with their books? What's some of the other things that they've done with just having the book? Yes. Now what else? I have them build a presence online. What I suggest to them is like, listen, since you're not in the marketplace and you need to build your platform, you need to get online. You need to start doing interviews. You need to do a virtual book tour. It's possible. A lot of people are stuck because they don't know what to do. They have a book. They were on a, a, a live book tour where they go and meet people before all of this when this pandemic happened. Now, what do I do? You have to be, you have to shift. You have to be able to pivot. Now you got to get more online. So I encourage my authors to go online, do a, a tour to market themselves accordingly. Build your social media platform. You got to build your following because if nobody knows who you are, they're not going to buy your book. You got to give up something to get something. Give little nuggets for people that's going to help benefit them in your line of work. So whether it's motivational speaker or inspirational, you have to pour into people before they'll pour back into you. I'm a firm believer of that. I've been doing, especially when I go back home, speaking to more of the kids at the schools there. One of the things that I brought this up with one of the other authors is that you go, you can do this talk or they can read the book. But Mm -hmm. one of the teachers asked me a question that kind of shook me and I had to find the answer to that was, okay, what now? She said, you come over here, you talk to them, but Mm -hmm. you're not here. You're not going to be here to keep giving them Mm -hmm. this motivation, this direction. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so glad that I actually now have a a complete workshop and things that go along with the teaching, actual application of it that you can continue going. What are some of the other things that maybe you're moving the, or some of the authors are moving towards because like yeah. Ms. Morgan has talked about yeah, putting it into a, a curriculum. Yeah. Curriculum, yes. Lola B. Morgan, we suggested that she she wanted to teach and so we came up with a curriculum. This is a curriculum that you can use for the children and then you can also bring in the parents so you can be teaching both the kids and the parents at the same time and you can set it up. You can do one portion of your curriculum this week and then next month you can focus on another topic in your curriculum. Same thing with Mr. Dames. His goal is to reach some of the at-risk youth between the ages of 12 and 21. Those are his targets and those are the, I said, look, you need to reach the parents because the parents or the guardians, you need to come up with a course or a training where you can teach them and, and talk to them because most youth for Mr. Dame's situation, he has to build trust. So you have to build that for the parents so they can start engaging with you more. His story is never talked about. Black men being sentenced to life in prison, but they never talk about the ones that get out from a life sentence and get a business and it's successful. These are the stories that, you know, family members or guardians or parents, they need to hear this story. Yeah. That's our goal for him is to, for him to build on, build in a presence, and then you're going to create some type of training curriculum for the youth. Saw something that you had out there also. I did my Mm -hmm. little social media stalking on everybody, (laughs) but I saw that you were also talking about in one of your blogs, the youth entrepreneurship. What I did is I went to a local college, high school, they did dual enrollment. That was one of their books for the semester was my book, Ready, Set, Go. And they had to read the book and they, and they had to write a report about starting a business. And so I believe sometimes some students and you, they're not college ready, but they have a business idea. They have a business mind. And so they actually use that as part of the educational process. Your That's book. correct. Yes. So, so that's really cool. What about yourself? I mean, do you, you will go out and speak and do some things also? Tell me about what you're doing so, with your book. So what I did during the time that I was publishing my book, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. My goal was to tell is tell my story through my book. Now my goal is, since we're virtual, is to impact and inspire those who, again, they're either writers, coaches, consultants, small business owners who want to build their brand, want to build their platform. They just don't know how. We're getting ready to have a free webinar next Thursday. I 
published my book, Now What? We had it scheduled here in Florida, but we had to postpone it due to pandemic. So we're taking it virtual. It's a free webinar. It's for those, and I'll send you some more information on that. It's for people who are needing help. They need help. Like now is the time. If you're looking to start your business, now is the time to do so um, because you have nothing but time. You just have to get with the right people. So my goal is to pretty much serve others and help others as much as I can while I can. I know we've been talking about the COVID-19 corona outbreak. How have you seen that change the arena of business right now? Those who are already pretty much 90 or 99% virtual, we're still here. But how do you see that effect right now happening with other people who you are working with also? What I've learned is with other with other people, I've, I've gotten like an influx. It's, it's crazy, but I've gotten an influx of inquiries about how to start a business. Mm-hmm. I need help starting my business. I was told to contact you like you're the, per, per, the go-to person. And so I thought that was weird. I'm like, okay. I wasn't really like promoting because we've been working on behind the scenes, working on other projects. To me, it's been an influx of interest to get their business started. I think it's a wonderful thing because now people are taking this thing serious. Like you got to create your own lane. Mm-hmm. You have to reinvent the wheel. Just create your own lane. Some people, it, it has affected. We're laid off. Some of my counterparts have been laid off from their nine to five. It's affected a lot of people. But what I will say is this. A lot of people are hopeful of getting themselves back together, back working, just setting themselves up for such a time as this if there's something to happen again like this. Sometimes it takes something to happen for you to make something happen. happen. Yes. My dad right now is actually in the hospital fighting this virus. But now she's actually changed her eating habits. She even talks to me. Yeah, I went, I bought this. I got rid of this. Sometimes it takes something to happen to get you to do something. This pandemic is causing more people to not just focus on their employer. Mm -hmm. They're actually now having to go, well, this employer is not for me. I have to be for me. Me and mine, my kids. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest things I've seen. A lot of people are leaning so hard on that job they weren't standing up themselves this is now pulled that would you say pull the rug from up under you now you're you're just a number you have to create your own number yeah you're right i I totally agree with that how do you (laughs) get folks to get into that creative mind to start not only looking for business ideas and things they can do how do you get that creativity in the people's brain moving my team and i we do an assessment in the beginning so we can get a full understanding of where they are you have to meet them where they are when you realize where they are and where they're trying to go because we always tell our clients think you got to think big you can't think small because small you can do small big something that you that you know for a fact you can't do you need help we do an assessment and then from there we determine what strategies we need to use to get them to be their very best and we ask them like do you need coaching you know some people just need coaching to get them right get from step to step to step some people need you to hold them really accountable they need you like a little kid like like a baby determine what client is that you have a client that has drive because drive you can't teach it has to be already in you our model we live by you have to be coachable. Otherwise, you wouldn't be coming to us for help. That's what our goal is to, for you to be your very best. A lot of people, they don't know because they don't know or they're looking for a quick overnight success. And that's not how success happens. It's not exactly. overnight. For me, success is standing on my feet every day, standing up, getting out of bed. I can stand straight up. No problem. So that's success for me. Well, that may not be for somebody else. Success to somebody else may be, I want to make a million dollars in six months. But I do know that you have to put in the work. You put in the work and the money will come. You got to find out where, where a person is. Otherwise, you're going to be lost trying to figure out what they need to be more creative. As authors, we're already creative. We're so busy creating with our thoughts and bringing things together that the creative for the business side and the marketing side, that's like jargon. I'm I'm frantic. And so that's what we do. We bring all of that. We align that. I do the same thing. I do three assessments. There's a self-assessment, there's a business assessment, and then there's the financial assessment for both. From there, once again, you know where we're starting off and where we're trying to go. I try to tell my folks that money is a byproduct of you doing what you're supposed to do. If I can actually get you to do what you're supposed to do, not exactly what you want to do. A lot of time we plan, but it's not exactly in our power. So I try to get people into their power. The majority, matter of fact, I turn away a lot of people because they come to me and say, I want to make $10 million. I don't really worry about your money. I want to know what type of impact you want to make. If you want to reach, if you want to help 10 million people, we got a deal. Let's go. But if it's just about the money for you, I've done that too much. I've gone through that, man. I I know those people. Those people, you, you tell them to walk, they ask you, how far, how many steps they got to take. Can you help me? It's like, hold up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know you know how to walk. Start walking. Pandemic has really pushed people back into themselves a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I just talked to a person last night. He's a counselor and he's 
counsel people who are dealing with mindsets mm -hmm. and, and and psychologists are also on the rise their business yes. is booming because yes. of this yes because of this and let me tell you you're gonna get one or two things out of this shift you either gonna sink or you're gonna swim you gotta start swimming because if you don't figure out where you are in this then you're gonna be lost you're gonna mm -hmm. think that you're gonna go back to where it used to be and it's not we have to start thinking outside of the box you gotta be creative and yeah the influx of people will come you just have to have a strategic plan on how you're gonna get there and how, what type of impact you want to have. So many more entrepreneurs and business owners are trying to network and collaborate. Right. So awesome because some yes. folks that you couldn't get to talk to you before, yes. oh, they're ready to talk oh, now. Yeah, yeah, they, yes. They're ready yes. to go now. They're like, oh, well, you know, I had a, a super speaking business, but oh, you got, oh, you, you got 400,000 people in your Facebook groups? Yeah. Oh, well, we need to talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh okay, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. You want to talk. Mm -hmm. But yes. but now is the time where all those, everybody can sit down and bring their assets to the table. And right. those who are asset poor are right. really being shown right now. If you have nothing but somebody else's product or right. something else for somebody yes. else, right now that stuff is being burned up. If you don't have the passion to push whatever you have, you're throwing it out the window right now because right. it's not helping you. And, and I tell my authors all the time, like, listen, people can see through the BS. So if you're passionate about what you're doing, they can see the passion in you. They can hear it in you. They could feel it. I eat, sleep, and breathe entrepreneurship. And the reason being is because just to know that I'm helping somebody come that much closer to their dream. You got to do things with passion, integrity. And you got to have character when you're doing it. You got to be yourself. When stuff like this happens, it really shows me the failure in the education system too. Because there's some things that needs to happen in life that we were not taught, which is right. one of them is working with other people. A lot of people just close up when stuff happens yes. Yes. instead of opening up and reaching yes. out. You you got to pass your test or fail your test on your own. Right. You gotta, right. But it's not true in the real world. When you come out right. to the world, you can come out and collaborate with people and everybody wins. Mm -hmm. yes. But we have to get that mentality out of our mind that if right. I don't know how to do it, it's just not going to get done. You can't be alone now. You've been in a society where, oh, you got to do this on your own. Just, you know, no, you got to get out and get amongst the people that can help you and you can help them. So we all win. You want to, I remember it when I was in LA, I had a book signing. I had a speaking engagement at Cal State University. I met a professor there and we're now working on our book together. But he said, you need strategic partners. And in my mind, I was like, okay, so what are those partners going to do? But I understood where he was coming from because you can't, you can be the long ranger in your business all day, but eventually you'll burn out over time. You're going to peak. You can't go no further. So you need a strategic, you need strategic partners. You need teams that can, you can depend on if you need them, if need be. I, I can count on, I can call, let me call Stephanie. Let me send this person to John because I know John to get them in the right direction. So you need strategic partners that you can bounce back and forth with. During this time, there's no other time but this time to make it happen. So hopefully that shows people the importance of those partners because there's only so far you're going to be able to go on your right. own because right. you can only learn how to do so much marketing and copyright. Right. You can right. learn how to do so much phone sales. You right. can learn how to do so much web design until mm -hmm. it gets to the point where in order to go to the next step, you, right. because you're the expert in your thing, you right. have to engage another expert. Right. And that's what folks fail to see a lot of times is that they right. have to engage mm -hmm. another expert in order to progress. If I write my book, yeah, I've, I've gone through this guy's course of how to do it and publish it and all mm -hmm. this other stuff. But eventually I'm a very simple person. I teach people the same thing I do. I'm going to learn as much about it as possible. Right. I'm going to take some type of course or education on it. Then I'm going to pay somebody to actually do it because <laughs> when I speak to the person who is actually the expert, right. I want to be able to speak intelligently about what they're going to be doing. That's how I, my process is the same That's thing right. I teach a person. Learn the junk yourself. Learn as much as possible. Do as much as possible. Get right. that hands on. Mm -hmm. Engage those experts because now you know what they're doing. I'll give That's you a per perfect example. Like when people talk about running Facebook ads, because you decided to run Facebook ads on your own, you didn't know anything and maybe looked a little bit, you still didn't think it was worth it. And you probably spent, I know when I first started doing it, three, four hundred dollars a week trying to get some stuff done. Then I went to, eventually went to an expert before I did the learning thing. And okay. I paid that person almost fifteen hundred dollars a month to do something. Then I went back and learned again. And another expert showed me another thing to do to where I can actually do the get the same results for like two to five dollars a day. Steps went through because I took those times mm -hmm. to learn it. Now right. those are the things that I give to other folks. It's like, well, mm -hmm. why would I let you go pay fifteen hundred dollars a month right. for something that you can do? But now when you do engage the expert, ad spend is gonna be a couple hundred dollars a month and you'll mm -hmm. be getting Two thousand, five thousand dollars worth of results that they charge right. these other folks for, because you know what right. you're talking about. This is really good information. Like I, 
I, like I said, I looked, I was like, oh, look, I like, I like your, um, your website, how you have the marketing. A lot of people don't know. And it's good that like you have to, here's another thing too. I want to talk about, like you have, when building your platforms, you have to invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. You got to invest in yourself. Always. There's not, this, this, there is nothing like free is free, but you're only going to get so far with free. That's it. You have to invest in yourself. And what it is that if you believe in it, you have to invest in it. Like entrepreneurship 2005 was totally different than it is now. Mm-hmm. So you ha- you, I, I'm constantly learning and reading different things on building my knowledge base. Mm-hmm. And you, ha- you have to. So I get that a lot too. I don't know if you get that with your, oh, that's, that's too expensive or I can't, <laughs> you know. Well, you know, I've actually got that so much that I've made a, a, a system that's to fix that. Which is what, what I do is I actually offer a, a, a $9 a month coaching on demand group. You can ask me anything you want. I'll give you any online program you want. Okay. Uh, we have live classes, all that stuff in the group. Now, okay. in that group, you also get two classes for free, which are $500 classes that I normally charge people for. But mm-hmm. to combat the free I give you something for almost free, but mm-hmm. what, what it allows the person to do is to test me. I always, I, I love people asking me questions. What do you do? How much you make? Where did you get it? How do you know? Because I know my stuff. Right. You can say, talk to me. Right. So once you talk to me, all that other stuff goes out the window. Right, right. So in order to get more people to talk to me, I provide an easy commitment level first, which is right. first my free stuff. I put all kind of stuff on my profile. So people look right. through that. I post in groups. I give right. you almost everything that's in those two free courses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when you come to the group, you can come in a group, look at all this stuff. And then if you're ready, I mean, yes. like you, you can't get into my premium programs unless you're ready because there's no point. Gotcha. I don't right. want your money. I want you to succeed. Right. So to get into my premium courses, your business has to have the right structure. You have to know who your ideal client is. You have to have been able to or- to sell some stuff organically because if you can't sell it organically, it's not going to sell and pay yes. for it. Yes. So I move you through the steps in order for now when you want when you're going to pay me, right. you actually know that it's worth it and it's going to mm-hmm. produce results for you. That's gotcha. how I kill the whole, I want everything for free. Sure. Right. You want everything for free? Watch my page. You can get anything okay. on that stuff. You can ask me a right. question. I'll make you a, mm-hmm. video, a video on it if you want. Yes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but now when you want to engage my time, right. you're going to pay me for my time. Right. That's right. <laughs> if you just want right. to watch some videos, I'll give you all the videos you want. Yes, definitely. Definitely. That is so true. So you that's how I handle the free. Free, okay. I give you everything you want for free as long okay. as you don't incorporate my time. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's awesome. That you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a, a, a strategy in place. I'm telling you. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> but that, see, that separates to me the serious from those folks who are just wanting something overnight. Because I, I'm, right. I'm pretty simple. It's like, look, if all the stuff you've seen on my Facebook page is not worth, just on my regular feed that I'm posting, is not worth nine dollars to you. You're not gonna be willing to put in and invest the time and right. the effort to do nothing else anyway. Right. Right. That's true. That's true. That's it's definitely real, true. Real simple. If you yes. can't buy me lunch to talk to me, there ain't no point in us talking. Right, right. <laughs> that's all it is. You're yes. buying me lunch. That's it. That's it. That's it, John. You definitely got a. You definitely got something going there, and I'm really, really proud of you. And you. to see, to see, someone that looks like me. That's that's into the same industry like that's that's amazing you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like that is that's awesome you don't and i told you can ask all the guys i've talked to so far this has been one of the best experiences of my life doing this talking to folks like you mm-hmm. and other folks because I ain't going to say it gives me so much more hope, but it refreshes me. I'm full. You know how people say when they go to church, they say, I'm full. Yes. After after talking to you guys, I'm like, man, I just just can't wait to get where you guys are because I travel a lot anyway. So once this is over, I'm hitting the East Coast. And and like I told them, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, let me know. Mm -hmm. I'd love to bring the workshop there. Definitely. Do whatever you need to go and get happening because Mm -hmm. I want to be part of somebody else's success right I, and that's that's my success right when, when, yes. we were, when you were talking about somebody else's success see my mm-hmm. definition of success is having complete control over my time and finance i don't have to worry about it. nobody saying okay well you can go here at this time that's right. my definition of success when so, i can yes. pop up and get up and go where i want 
I'm yeah. successful. That's right. And that's right. My other part is when I see other folks go, oh. When I yes. see that, boy, there's no better feeling to <laughs> yes, and to be able to see yes. my, my people out there working yes. right now and being yes. able to talk to you guys. Right. Oh my goodness. Yes. And, yes. I, I, and they're I, positive people. You know yes. what I'm saying? It's positive people, and you have like you're gonna go through opposition. You mm -hmm. well, that's 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 inevitable. You know what I'm yes. saying? But you gotta you gotta look at the good out of it. Like you learn from opposition and you grow from it. Yeah. Um, again, like I I love. Um, I love LA. That's, 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 I went there and I, again, I, I, I experienced so much to see the people in that was like, Miss when I, I want to know, like, I looked at one of your videos and I'm like, people are actually, they do their research. Yeah. So it's it's like, like, we all ain't crazy. Cause I deal with a lot of the crazy ones. <laughs> so yeah. So it's like, and, and that's, that's like that aha moment of, you know, this is, I'm working in my purpose with helping other people become successful. This isn't about me, but this isn't about me uh, making, a, you know, a millions and millions, like what God is, I'm going to get whatever he has for me, I'm going to have. That's it. This is about helping of those that don't know and they need the help. So, and that look like me and I'm there to help them. That's it. And we can end on that note right there. Now tell everybody how they can get a hold of you, um, what projects you got going right now so we can get on that train. Okay. So right now we um, we just um, dropped our, um, we're um, having the, I've published my book, Now What? webinar. It's a free author webinar. You can go to JNS, J as in John, S, uh, J, and the word N spelled out, A and D, S as in Sam, Communications, that's on Facebook. Um, you can go to jnscommunications.com. You can also go to our Facebook page where you can sign up for the webinar. It's next Thursday, April the 30th. It's six o'clock um, Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing webinar. You're gonna, it's gonna be impactful for those who publish the book. They're either stuck, they need help with branding, marketing. We're gonna talk about media, like publicity. A lot of authors, they don't have a publicity plan. So we're going to put, we're going to give them tips on that. So yeah, so um, they can reach me at, again, jnscommunications.com. Gotcha. And it's been wonderful. Thank you so much for bringing your energy, your information to the to the uh, boss life life right, right here. And um, yes. I can't wait to have you, you on again. This is just it. the beginning. This is just I the know, beginning. I know, and I'm excited.